Welcome to this tutorial on wing shape optimization with Aerolus Aero Sketchpad. In this short video, you will see how to set up and run a wing shape optimization. Let us consider a simple wing with variable cord. Our objective is to maximize its lift to drag ratio. The known solution to this problem is an elliptical plan form, which we want to find by means of the built in shape optimization feature. First, launch Aeolus Aero Sketchpad. The default wing has three sections. In our example, we will consider a straight rectangular wing which requires only two sections, one at the ring root and one at the tip. So we can remove one section here. For the simple case, assign the NACA 0015 airfoil to both sections. We give them a cord of 1 meter and a semi-span of 4 meters. We want the optimizer to modify the wing cord at different span Y stations. Click on the plus button to introduce additional wing sections between the existing ones. The expected optimized platform is elliptical, so it is a good idea to increase the section density towards the wing tip. The tip section itself must have a finite cord, which we want to set to 0.3 meters. Now we need to define the target flight condition for which the wing should be optimized. In this example, we use an aircraft weight of 2000 Newton, load factor 1, and true airspeed of 30 meters per second. Next is the viscous drag coefficient of our wing, which is 0 0.01. It refers to the wetted wing area, which we can define in the references panel. Let us briefly analyze the current efficiency of this wing before we start optimizing it. As expected, the current lift distribution is not optimal. The lift to drag is approximately 16. You can now use the built-in optimization feature to increase the efficiency. Therefore, click on optimization in the model tree and tick the checkbox to enable it. By default, the objective is to maximize the lift to drag ratio at the current flight condition, which is what we want in this example. Note the warning sign, which provides tooltips if you scroll over it. In this case, it tells you to select at least two design variables. In the table below, you can find the six sections. To keep this example simple, we only want to optimize the section's cord. Tick the checkboxes to enable cord variation for the respective sections. Skip the last checkbox, as we want to keep a certain minimum cord length at the wingtip. By default, the maximum cord change is set to plus minus 50%. And in view of constraints, the local lift coefficient should not exceed 0.25. Note that all coefficients refer to the wetted wing area. The optimizer stops automatically when converged. However, you can define a maximum number of evaluations here. Click on the Run button and start the optimization. Aeolus Aero Sketchpad does now test different designs and converges to an optimum where the optimization stops automatically. The known solution to this problem is an elliptical platform which Aeolus Aero Sketchpad finds after some iterations. The lift distribution is now more elliptical. The lift to drag ratio has been increased from 16 to 16.7. Now you know the basic process of setting up and running an optimization in Aeolus Aero Sketchpad and you can apply this feature to your own design challenges.